Josh Wallace Show, let's go! Go, 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 go. This Fernando Tatis Jr. situation is the exact reason why I have always been hesitant on collecting MLB, any baseball players. He was just suspended. 80 games for PED use, and this is not the only time he has had issues, and his teammates have also expressed frustrations with Fernando Tatis, as now they have to move on the rest of this season without him, as the Padres just acquired Juan Soto, and we will see how that whole thing unfolds as far as sports cards this is why I have always like I said been cautious on collecting baseball players and baseball cards unless they are set hall of famers or um, players of that nature like Babe Ruth or Ken Griffey Jr., those players I would always feel safe as to investing in. But these new guys coming into the league and even retired players like Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa and all those big names back in the day, I won't ever collect players like that. And obviously there are so many in the sports card hobby who won't either because of all of the steroid use and Jose Canseco and all that kind of stuff. So baseball is awesome. I love baseball and we don't cover baseball enough on the show as we should for sure. Uh, But this is just devastating news for the San Diego Padres. And of course, The curse of San Diego sports, right, Uh, continues. But like I said, if I were to collect baseball cards, it would be, like I said, Hall of Famers, um, such as, you know, Babe Ruth, Ken Griffey Jr. I think Ken Griffey Jr. would always be a fun um, athlete to collect. He has awesome cards back in the day, and his signature is beautiful, too. Um, so that's my take on MLB and baseball cards. I'll always be a basketball card fanatic and a basketball card collector at heart first before anything else. And then football. And if you have been paying attention to some of my shorts, I am going to be collecting Logan Cooley of my Arizona Coyotes. He was the third overall pick in the NHL draft this season. And he doesn't have really any cards at all or any cards that are really that, you know, good. But I'm looking forward to watching and collecting Logan Cooley of my Coyotes in the NHL. And so, and then baseball, like I said, I would only collect maybe a couple athletes in baseball. And for that reason, I think that everyone should just collect what they love. You know, who cares about uh, what, um, you know, this person or that person is collecting. And the thing about social media, um, and it's so easy to compare and, oh, this person's collection's way better than mine or this or that. I would just focus on, like I said, collecting what you enjoy. And that's the cool thing about sports cards is like you watch games and you watch athletes and then you can kind of, you know, check out their sports card market while you're watching the game, you know, or after the game, or you check a box score at night and see how your favorite player's doing. And then, 
you go on eBay and you purchase a couple cards and it's just awesome. That's that's what makes the sports card hobby awesome. So check out Card Ladder and check out my brand new website, the joshwallaceshow.com. It's completely revamped. We are doing big things and I will stay here on YouTube and Spotify. This is what I will mainly be focusing on now and we will just keep building the show and google us also google josh wallace show or the josh wallace show and we're right on the top of the first page we're all over the place on social media and uh keep following the show subscribe comment like and hit that bell notification to get notified every time we bring new content to you weekly all right guys have a great day